Hello, welcome. I did another video on this groove here in C major for all levels, and now I'm gonna do one that's a little more advanced. Although, if you're not advanced, you could still trade and try to get inspiration from some of these ideas I'm gonna play, okay? But for the advanced players, I'm gonna try to challenge you to hear some of these uh, subtle triplet rhythms on this lazy swing waltz groove and just some different melodic shapes to give you some inspiration. Okay, so if you want, you can play after me. Just do your best. Some of these are tricky. I'll give you a minute to explore it. Also because I need to think what I'm going to do. try to show this in a general way. So what you can see is I'm trying to run those triplets in different groupings. a way to practice for that okay we're gonna do let's do six let's do groups of six like this see if you can run that C major scale or you can use a minor pentatonic or E minor pentatonic if you prefer running it up and down just up Let's run it down. See if you can try that. It's not the most musical line, but it's, it's a great practice. Now what we can do is we can take the same line, but displace it by one triplet eighth note, right? So instead of we can do I'll show you So we're displacing by one triplet do the 
the same thing on the way down. See if you can fit that in. And we can continue to displace it. So now I'm going to displace it by two eighth notes. Try that if you want. So let's try a, a melodic rhythm now, okay? The melodic rhythm, Bodhiya, Bodhiya. We're going to try to use that melodic rhythm but change the notes we use. Try to use that rhythm with different notes. So it could be an upward shape. downward shape. Or something else. All right, so now let's do some trading. I'm going to play some lines and you play back whatever you want. Make a quick note to you. Go ahead and shake it out. 
the way when I like to when I practice these over these grooves, one of the ways I like to practice is by really holding myself accountable to the groove. So a lot of times you might feel tempted to try to play something that's too fast or it's unmanageable. So I encourage you to kind of hold yourself to accountable to the groove and play within your means, right? So if I try to play just really fast, you know, I, the groove might suffer. And I'd rather try to play ideas that, even if they're simpler, I'd rather play an idea that feels better and really adheres to the groove, the harmony, plays phrases, that sort of thing. And so that's part of what I'm trying to encourage for you as you play along with, with these grooves. So now I'm gonna set the groove for you and I'm gonna let it go for a few minutes so that you can practice some ideas. And I wanna encourage you to put on your recording device because that's really where you get the biggest growth is by listening back and noticing things. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now, as always, you can get more from this uh, if you'd like to work with me more by joining my real-time group Zoom classes. They're great, they're for all levels. They happen every week during seven-week cycles. And so look for the links to that at my website, Chris, uh, christianhouse.com and or reach out to me for other ways to get the, the free masterclass. You can leave your email for that. There's, you can join Creative Strings Academy. There's lots of ways to work with me that are accessible to all levels and all budgets, really. So, um, and if you're a teacher, we've got special things for teachers as well. So leave a comment, leave a like, let me know if you enjoyed this, if there's something special you'd like. And otherwise, I'm gonna give you this groove for you to go ahead and do what you want with. All right, until next time, happy practicing. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six.